How to use a comma. The most common uses of a comma are, one, when writing a list. For example, the pens were available in blue comma, red comma, green comma, and yellow. Two, when writing a date. For example, January 1 comma, 2020. And three, when writing a large number. For example, 100 comma, 1000. However, there are other ways of using a comma that can make a big difference to how people understand what you write. Note the following examples to add power and clarity to your writing. 1. Use a comma to separate the two parts of a sentence where a question follows a statement. For example, the picture shows the Eiffel Tower looking up from ground level. The sentence reads, we visited the Eiffel Tower on the first day of our holiday, comma, or was it the second day? 2. Use a comma to separate an introductory phrase from the main point of the sentence. For example, the picture shows a woman holding an umbrella waiting in the rain. The sentence reads, In spite of the fact it was raining, comma, she still went to meet her friend. 3. Use a comma to separate words that are inserted to explain a preceding word or phrase. For example, the picture shows a flight of marble steps. The sentence reads, The steps were completely clear, comma, apart from the danger cone on the first step. 4. Use a comma to separate explanatory or unnecessary words that, if left out, would not change the meaning. For example, the picture shows a cafe with a closed sign. The sentence reads, By the time we got there, the cafe had closed, comma, unfortunately. A word of caution. Don't pepper your writing with commas when they're not really necessary. This can irritate the reader. A good guide is to read what you've written out loud and take note of where you naturally pause. Probably that's where a comma is needed. Just remember, the main function of a comma is to indicate which parts of a sentence are the most important and which parts are supplementary or not essential. The comma is not there for ornamental purposes. Rather, it's there to do a job, namely to separate the various elements in a sentence to make the meaning clear. That's how to use a comma. Get my free vocabulary builder and add these advanced words to your vocabulary. Obsolete, sporadic, ludicrous, tantamount, sceptical.